The craziest thing I've ever seen, without a doubt, though, is a soccer game in Argentina. My wife's from Argentina. We went to spend Christmas there about 11, 12 years ago. Her family's team, Boca Juniors, which is a very popular team in, in uh, Buenos Aires, is, is in the, this final. And I say to my uncle, well, to her uncle, you know, hey, can we go, can we go to this game? And he gets this very serious look on his face and he's like, we can go, we can go, he says in Spanish. We can go. He goes, no women, no children. <laughs> I was like, what? Like, I thought, you know, I was going to take the kids and we were going to go to... Go to the game. game, yeah. Well, I saw why when we went, because we had to get through, I think, three police barricades. There was temporary fencing with barbed wire put up. I mean, it was just absolute madness. And police with riot gear outside. And if this is the, is the, the field, people were sitting here and people were sitting here, kind of like as if in the two end zones, what would be end zones of, of our football. And there was nobody sitting in the best seats, right? Because that was the distance that people could throw things and hit each other. Our team won, the other team's fans are filing out, and the trophy presentation finishes, and I say to Hector, I'm like, you know, should we go? And he goes, no, we still, we still. And it was because they needed time to get out of the neighborhood mm. where the stadium was, and you had to give them like a 45 minute head start. And then when they did let us out, they actually held us in these temporary kind of cages I was like, what are we waiting for now? And they're like, now they still need five more minutes to clear <laughs> the neighborhood. I mean, it was absolutely crazy. Like, definitely the craziest sporting event I've 